Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well, or at the very least, doing a little bit better than I'm doing right now. I've been up for about 17 and a half hours, going on four hours of sleep, and I was awake for 22 hours yesterday. Um, my work schedule changed for the last couple of days. I took yesterday evening off to go over to um, Ramblin' Mike's third anniversary here on YouTube. Um, if you guys don't know who Ramblin' Mike is, you really need to go check him out because he is, he's amazing. He, his accuracy is just off the hook. He, he's a great reader. He has a wonderful personality. I, I love this man to pieces. He just, he reminds me of my favorite uncle. He has this just great funky energy about him and I just love him to death and I, I owe the man a debt of gratitude. So if you've never checked out Ramblin' Mike, be sure to go do that. Put that on your list of things to do today. Anyway, so my entire universe has been thrown off kilter and my brain is like a puddle inside my skull right now. But I'm going to try to throw these down because in the midst of going off schedule, I completely forgot to do the weekend top and bottom of the deck. So here we are. We're just going to throw down simple past, present, future. Oh, I got three right here. Why not? Okay. Well, air signs, I guess we're just going to get it started. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now through the end of the day on Tuesday. Six of Cups reversed. Death and the Page of Pentacles. Could have been an event with an old soulmate, somebody you've been kicking it with for a while. Kind of left a salty taste in your mouth. Maybe some bad memories. That darn phone goes off one more time to interrupt me. I'm going to throw it across the room. Anyway. I think that was a challenge from the universe. How about I just put it on silent? How about that? How about we just silence the phone so I don't have to listen to it? Thank you. Okay. Present energy. The death card does not necessarily mean death. Like, in a very low percentage of any of the tarot readings ever done ever, did the death card actually represent a death. It's about change. It's about cycles ending, new cycles beginning. So, right now, we're in the midst of change. Possibly a change in the person you're dealing with. Possibly a change in you, air sign. Be you Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Upcoming future, the Page of Pentacles. That's a message. Hmm. Sometimes the Page of Pentacles brings an apology. Hmm. Let my whistle a little bit here. I'm dying. Hmm. Let's get a little clarity. Just a little. Before my brain starts to evaporate. <clears throat> Meaning before my caffeine second wind for the day completely wears off and I just pass out here at the table. <clears> hmm. <throat> <laughs> I already know what's going on with that. We're not going to touch that. Why is death here? Okay. Come out right away, why don't you? Page of Pentacles reversed. Oh, the Page of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Swords reversed, and here's the change. Someone could be having a change of heart or a change of ways and a 
an apology that has been long withheld. Hmm. And with this Eight of Swords reversed, maybe they felt like they couldn't apologize or they didn't know how. They may have kind of been in a cage in their own thoughts about it. I think this is an apology coming to you, Air Signs, that has been withheld because they didn't know how. Something has happened. A change in them. One more on that change. A little more specific. I don't want to get too specific. Oh, Ace of Swords, new thought process. Duh. Yeah, just beat the dead horse, why don't we? Page of Swords. Finally going to get up the guts to speak. I like it. The Page of Swords is the bearer of truth. And sometimes the Page of Swords tells us things that we don't want to hear. But the things we need to hear. And possibly hmm let me know if this resonates with anybody and I and I mean at any given point in time even if you like watch this and then in a couple weeks couple months you find out the truth behind this if it's your story and if it was a third party involved, kind of lighting a fire under somebody's butt, saying, you know what, um, you've been wrong about this this whole time, you should probably go apologize. That's what happened. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Knave here? The one on the Knave. Just one. Just one. Oh. It's the Shadow Side Reverse. I like it. I like it. The apology is coming in and it's going to take away all the toxic energy. All the toxicity out of this connection. Because finally, all that toxicity that was causing this Six of Cups to be upside down all this time and all that bad blood and all that bad energy is finally going to be lifted because somebody's coming in with an apology over something. I don't know what. I wasn't there. This is very non-specific, just the way I like it, and we're leaving it that way. Can I get a card of advice, please? Just one. And it decided to hit the floor. Gee, what do you know? And this is why I wear yoga pants. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles reversed, Hangman reversed. Even if it doesn't end up back into like a, settling into a foundation of a relationship, even if it's not a coming together of that nature, at the very least, you can cut yourself out of the emotional gallows with the negativity of this situation and at least just move on to a place of cordiality. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? It, it's certainly better than bad blood. If you just come to a level where, okay, we're good, that's good. I like it. Why not? Okay. Very good, very good, very good. I don't even know if cordiality is a word. I just, I seriously just pulled that out of the mush in my brain right now. So, water signs. We move on to you guys. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now, through the end of the day, Tuesday, February 2nd.
Seven of Swords, really? The Sun. Oh. Haha, <laughs> you guys get to go back in. The world reversed. Oh, well. That seven of swords. He's hmm. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh, cheater, cheater, poop eater. You know, however you want to look at him, he's not such a nice guy. And here's the worst part about this card. Just about every time I see it, that seven of swords. He's leaving two swords behind. It's like that ex that left crap at your house just to have an excuse to come back. Yeah, that one. Some shady stuff went down. Some dishonest things happened. Probably in separation. And they have an excuse to come back into your life. Moving on to the sun card. This is a connection. And here's the worst part about soulmates. Sometimes you, you loathe them. <laughs> but, you know, up in a higher plane of existence, y'all are like your bosom buddies. You know what I'm saying? But... In, in your in your earthly soul life, you know, when you're in your meat sack shell thing you got going on here, you loathe each other. Because they've done horrible, awful things to you, or you've done horrible, awful things to them. All things being fair and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's two sides to that coin. But, point being, it's a soulmate connection nonetheless with this sun card. <sighs> Where's my clarifiers? Thank you. Something to do with the connection here in the present and moving on into the future, coming in the next couple of days, it has to be addressed. The world in reverse can indicate a return, and I, I'm, I'm kind of having this vibe that old jerk face here might be coming back for their stuff. Let's get some clarity. And I um, just thought I'd, I'm throwing this out there. It's January 30th. So, what started today? Our dear friend Mercury Retrograde has come for their first visit of the year. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, your stuff's probably going to break. And people that you didn't want to talk to ever again are probably going to send you a text message. Just, just throwing that out there. <laughs> do with it whatever you're going to do with it. Ace of Swords. <laughs> Card of Communication. Ace of Swords typically indicates new. But it's Card of Communication nonetheless. You did not flip over. You did, though. Four of Pentacles. Oh, they've been holding on to you. Hmm. You could be talking to someone new water signs, very possibly. Eight of Wands, communication coming in. Hmm. Hey, can we talk? Yeah, I think I left a pair of socks in your laundry. Can I come get them? King of Wands reversed. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I don't see you doing anything with it. I, I, uh, the King of Wands to me is screaming flat out rejection. It's up to you what you do. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I'm just here to read cards and have fun. That's all I'm here to do. I don't see you falling for this though. Let's get some clarity real quick. Or get some clarity. Get you some advice real quick because I'm going to try to keep these short and sweet and put to the point tonight. Before I just pass out completely. Nine of Swords Reverse. Don't. Don't fret. Just try to get some rest. Don't fret about this. Don't get all up in your head about it. Don't freak out about it. Seven of Pentacles Reversed. Um, 
depending on your situation, I don't think enough time has gone by. It's, it's mm, too soon, too soon. Is that the phrase that the kids are using nowadays? A little soon. It might be a little soon to be able to do anything with this. You might have to wait for the next retrograde. Just, you know, keep their socks in your drawer for a while longer and tell them not to come over if that's what it comes down to. But that's what I got for your water signs. Have fun with it. Let me know if it resonated because I'm having fun. I love about retrograde, you never know who's going to be coming back. Think I hate about thing I hate about retrograde, you never know who's coming back. Fire signs: Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with you guys the next couple of days? Saturday night special, three card. I, I, if this goes well, I might just start doing it like this more often and completely abandon the top and bottom of the deck because quite frankly, it gets a little wordy and I know I put people to sleep. <laughs> I know I do. And I thank God for my time stampers. Anybody who comes in and time stamps my videos for me and sits through like the entire hour of it, just, just checking to see when I change decks, you know bless you. Bless you guys. You have a piece of my heart. You really do. Oh. That's the steampunk saying it's time to stop shuffling. Okay. Alright, whoever's gonna come flying out, flies out. One for the past. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. One for the past. Thank you. It's sideways. It's more upside down than it is right side up. We're gonna call it upside down. Unacknowledged connection. Possible. Even if it was acknowledged, wasn't equally felt. Oh, had one hit the floor. And again, this is why we wear yoga pants. Excuse me. Okay. Six of swords. Unacknowledged connection. I wonder what that Six of Swords is about. Are you finally moving on from it? In the process of moving on from it? What's coming in the next couple of days? Maybe some of you have completely moved on from it. You've gone to the other side of the... I'm not taking three. The Queen of Pentacles showed itself. We're going to see if it comes back out, but I'm not taking three. Okay, really, guys? Come on. Pick me! Pick me! No, one card. Nothing showed itself. Knight of Cups. Hmm. It's not a page, thank God. But it is someone who holds a cup for you. It might be an offer. Fire signs. Hmm. Finally moved on from an unequal connection. Possibly you're either ready to accept or give a cup to somebody. I like it. Let's get a little clarity. A little clarity. Knight of Swords. Hmm. 
Someone's been watching. Either you've been keeping an eye on them or they've been keeping an eye on you. But somebody's been watching somebody. Seven of Wands reversed. Hmm. Possibly someone hasn't quite conquered their inner demon yet, maybe? Things might still be a little bit out of control in somebody's life. Or... Maybe that's why the connection wasn't equal because someone's life was a little bit out of control. Three of Did you see how it just kind of flew out and landed right there? I think the universe wants that card there. So, waited. Someone is waiting. Someone is waiting for somebody's life to get back into control. Wow, okay. So, or they waited a long time. It kind of landed over in the past part. So, why the Six of Swords? Can I get one for the Six of Swords? Six of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Okay, it landed on top of the sun reversed. We get the point that it was an equal give and take. I asked why the six of swords, or, or why the six of swords. They moved on because it wasn't equal give and take. Okay. King of Cups. Still hold the cup for this person. Still care about them very deeply. It just wasn't... Maybe you couldn't give equally to it. Maybe somebody couldn't. Be you were the other person. Because there's still a lot of love and deep emotion here. Alright, why the Knight of Cups? That was a wheel of fortune. Landed in the reverse. Tis the season. Hmm. Well, this is interesting, fire signs. Something you thought, thought you moved on from. Someone may be coming back to try to fill your cup. I don't know, that's a pretty big cup to fill. I think they're going to try, though. What's going to happen? Why? One more on this Knight of Cups, please. One more. Nine of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to cause somebody to become pretty restless. <laughs> This is going to cause a little bit of restless energy for somebody. It's either going to be you or the person you're dealing with. <clears throat> because I'm pretty sure you've moved on. Or at least you tried to. Hmm. So what are you going to do with it? Just sit there and be restless. Can I get one more from a from a fire signs? One more. I'll take two. Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups.
that's the big brick that's the big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the pool out back and the big covered porch where you sit and watch the sunset and drink lemonade and watch the grandkids run around the backyard catching fireflies while the sun sets yeah that's it that's that's the goal that's the dream But is your cup full? Fire signs. I, th I think you got to decide what fills your cup. It's ultimately what you got to do. What what's filling your cup? Is the dream filling your cup? I'm just playing cards. Don't look at me. It's not my journey. <clears throat> Lovers reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Make sure you're both on the same page before you do anything. Don't jump don't jump to conclusions. For for real. King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles sorry, the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. fire signs. That's your card. And she is indeed a woman who knows her worth. She is indeed a woman who expects only the best. Uh, a little bit fiery, a little bit sassy, but I think you need to be the queen of wands right now and you need to know what you want. But you need to take your time at the same time. Because the Queen of Wands isn't so good at that part. She's a little impulsive. So, just dial it down. Think it through. Make sure you're both on the same page before you make any decisions. Okay? That's what I have for you, fire sign friends. We're going to move on to the earth signs. And then I'm going to move on to my bed. Because I've been up way too many hours the last two days. And I gotta get up and do it all over again tomorrow. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on? Of swords reversed came out. Let's see if it comes back out. I hope not, because I hope you're letting the sun shine in your life again. I hope you're finally getting those swords out of your back. I, I'm hoping if it comes back out, whatever it is, it don't hurt no more. I'm hoping the worst of it's over for you. Past, present. One for the past, please. One for the past. Sun reversed. It's another one of them. Princess of Pentacles. Hierophant reversed came out. We're going to put it back because this one actually landed on the table. <sighs> Lack of happiness, unacknowledged connection in the past. Earth signs.
Hmm. Let's get a little clarity. Lack of happiness. Unacknowledged connection, possibly. Could be a Leo. Princess of Pentacles. Possibly an apology. Small offerings. It's Princess of Wands reversed. Hmm. Got me a little. You got me a little stumped, Earth signs. It landed there. I'm going to assume it wants me to clarify that card. Will of Fortune reversed. Business left unfinished. Cycle that didn't complete. One more. <clears throat> Page of Cups reversed. Could be blocked communication, could be ignored messages, but business was left unfinished. Something was left unfinished. The connection was left unacknowledged. Things were left unfinished. Communication was blocked. Why the Princess of Pentacles? This is current energy. Shot down. Are you just leaving it unfinished? I don't see forward movement with it, that's for sure. One more on that. Empress reversed. No growth, it's not going anywhere, it's not doing anything, it's stagnant. <sighs> Rejected. Okay. Princess of Wands, are, why the Princess of Wands reversed? Seven of Cups. Exploring other options. The moon reversed. Oh. Things becoming illuminated. Things becoming clear. don't know which path to choose because things are becoming more clear. Communication may have been blocked in the past when someone tried... I'm not seeing a return in the present, though.
star reversed in the Ace of Swords. Lack of healing. Communication. Possibly in the next couple of days, you could be. That's a can of worms in a mood. Wow. Things being illuminated. Confusion. Lack of healing. Negative energy flow. Why the moon reversed? Ace of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, and the King of Pentacles. It's the seed that the, the seed that didn't grow. Upside down pentacle, upside down pentacle. Somebody wants to get something off their chest and they don't know how. Communication's been blocked. There's a lack of healing. There's negative energy flow. There might be an attempt at communication. Might be an attempt at a fabulous offer. Because the offer wasn't so fabulous a while ago. Might not even be that fabulous in the present energy. But it's being flat out rejected in the present energy. Some of you may just be like, you know what, don't come don't come to me with a page's offer. You better come to me with a king's offer if you even want to come to the table. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, we're going to get your advice, Earth Signs. I don't blame you. I think they just kind of left it hanging out there. Didn't even give an explanation when they left it hanging out there. Just kind of left it unfinished. Five of Wands. Three of Cups. Sometimes you just got to have that throwdown, <laughs> that, that conversation to end all conversations to come back together. Sometimes you have to have the argument you've been avoiding. Lovers reversed and the emperor reversed. And how is someone supposed to acknowledge you if you don't bring it to their feet? Perhaps some of you have been a little bit too scared or didn't quite know how to present the offer without being rejected. Wow. Okay. Well, somebody needs to like get up the guts to talk to somebody. That's all I got to say to that. I got to go to bed though, guys. I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, my brain is pretty well for mush. Hopefully I can get some sleep tonight. And when I get home tomorrow, I can just hop right to it as soon as I get home. Hopefully I won't be too tired. I love you guys. Be blessed. Again, I'm sorry. There was a disruption in my universe. So we just work with what we got, right? I love you. Be blessed. Thanks for coming by and I will catch you guys next time.